and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2. Alright, so we're about to be attacked by the Scare Force. Uh, before we do that though, let's actually start replacing some of our old outdated weapons with real weapons. For example, let's make sure no one still has copper swords. We're going to be relying more and more on the power of our allies going forward, so we should probably make sure they're as fully, like, geared up as possible. Uh, do you still have a copper sword? Yeah, you do. Okay, who still has a copper sword? You two. Hmm. That was all the steel swords I made. Give me a moment. I'm just gonna make a couple more. Oh, do I have... I think I'm out of steel, though, right? Yeah, I'm out of steel. One minute. Let me make some more real quick. Let me also get another forge back down so I can start getting some iron going. God, I forgot how much iron you need in this chapter. Thank God we have unlimited amounts of it, otherwise I would actually be a bit worried. But yeah, I think literally everything requires either marble or iron. Alright, so I think I can make one... Oh, right. I keep forgetting I need to do it at the anvil. I should probably move this. Okay, we can make one more thing of a... We can make one more sword. Who still needs a steel broadsword? You two are equipped with steel swords. I think we still have one copper person, right? Yeah, we used to have copper. Here you go. Other than that, I think everyone else has either iron or steel at this point, right? I'm just looking for any more copper I want to replace. We can replace the rest of them with steel broadswords once we're done with the or done with the battle. But I think we should be good. Yeah, I don't see anyone else with, else with a copper broadsword. You two both have steel. All right, I think we're good. Is the copper done? Oh, you know what? I can make one more. Let's try to replace maybe an iron uh, one or two. I keep forgetting. One minute. Oh, I don't have enough steel yet. Now I have enough steel. Alright, let's get one more and then we'll get, uh, we'll start the battle. While we're fighting, we might as well just get some more going. Yeah, you know what, I should have just done a giant thing of steel. Well, I guess we did do a giant thing of iron. Alright, so who could use this? Are there any, like, named characters who don't have a steel broadsword yet? Actually, wait a second. Do you have one? Yeah, you had one. Do you have one? Nope, there we go. Alright, we're good. Let's do it. We should be fully prepared at this point. We have, like, traps everywhere. The only thing I kind of wish we had more of were cannons, like, completely lining the walls and just turning it into a kill floor. Well, honestly, your DPS probably is higher than my traps. But you've never complained before about the traps that I've laid down. Alright, so you guys know the plan, right? We're gonna let them come in, take da- uh, what the heck? We're gonna let them come in, take damage on, like, all the traps that we've laid down. Then we go in and finish off, the, like, the remainders, right? That's the plan. So I think we've got this. Okay, it looks like they're being kind of smart, but they're not letting them step on the crack traps. Of course. Well, let's see how this turns out, I guess. Actually, yeah, wait, hold on a second, are they... Oh my god. Uh, the AI in this game is dumb. Alright, let's... Okay, good. They are starting to break through so they can actually get hit by their weakness. Which is working pretty well. Like I said before, though, I feel like lightning would have made more sense for, like, these more robotic enemies in terms of their weakness. I don't know. Ice is usually something I don't really see affecting robotic enemies that often. Also, what is happening over there? Okay, no, gu guy... Gu well, so much for our zap... Tra or for our uh, crack traps. Alright, fine. You know what? Hold on a second. We might as well use this on cooldown. Just so, in case we get another proc. Hold on, let me, uh, just get that kicked off. 
All right, back up to the walls I go. Listen, I'm a builder, okay? I'm basically the general of this army at this point. I don't do the fighting myself. I have all the villagers do it for me. That being said, it would also probably help if I could actually command them directly instead of just kind of hoping the AI knows what it's doing. Like, some kind of tool to actually direct villages would have been great. But no, at least it looks like they're doing pretty decently. Like, if they can kill them in that room without getting to the traps, that would be fine. But if they just got to the traps, it would be so much faster. Because they would basically stop moving and just let you wail on them for a while. What I'm also kind of surprised by is the fact that they still haven't actually damaged the castle at all. So far, I think this is the least destructive battle we've had. Also, while they're all grouped up like this, one minute. I'm just gonna do this. Alright, back to the walls I go. I just need to come down every once in a while to, like, let off a bit of steam, okay? Once Malroth really gets into it, I just have to come in, just help him release that a bit, and then just come back up here and watch the battle unfold. Oh god, uh, guys, 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 well, um, we seem to have an issue, guys, there's a giant robot bashing at the front gates. Okay, good, it, the AI is also kind of dumb in that case. Actually, you know what, hold on, since my allies aren't going to do this, I might as well do it. Where are the buttons? There are no buttons to activate those traps in the back. I am not a very good designer when I don't get to actually control- Oh wait, there are the tra there are the buttons, never mind. I don't think they're gonna work. Yeah, they don't work unfortunately because they're not close enough. Alright. So you guys got this, you guys got this. Just gotta wail a bit. Oh, you know what? Can you have a weapon? No, you can't have a weapon. Yeah, some enemy or some allies can't have weapons, unfortunately. They just kind of throw rocks. Oh. Speaking, I was just talking about Kaboom in the last episode as a spell. Turns out they know Kaboom. Alright, you know what? Hold on. Let's start off this battle right. By eliminating, like, a bunch of the enemies immediately. Also fine, I guess I'll help out a bit. Don't mind me. Just kind of acting as the artillery at this point. Oh, crap, they actually damaged the castle. Or was that me? Pretty sure that was them. I didn't damage anything. I don't think my bombs can damage anything, right? I am running a bit low on bombs now. I should probably make more at some point. Also, thank god for multi-heal basically keeping my entire army alive. This is why healers are very, very important. Without healers, you can't outlast the enemy. Okay, but guys, let's uh, let him move forward a bit. I want to step on the traps. Yeah, it's kind of amazing just how much of a difference multi heal makes. It's basically like a really powerful regen on your ca on all of your allies. I don't think anyone actually died in that battle. Looking at it, for once. More HP, and... what I learned? I learned how to make... Oh, magic armor! Ooh, that would actually make... That would actually be pretty good on me. Alright, I'll give myself some armor after this. And with that, all three forces are defeated. 
All right, let's fix up the castle, and I think with that, we are done here. So, are we heading back to the Isle of Awakening now with a new army? Oh. Uh... We don't use money on the island, as far as I know. I will take manpower, though, because, yeah, remember, the reason we came out of the way out here is to get some defenses for the Isle of Awakening. <laughs> but, that's all three forces down. So, yeah, what's left of their army at this point? We've defeated, like, their main force, I'm assuming. And at this point, anything that marches on us will probably be destroyed by the spikes in the fire. Ah, it's a giant capture the flag game. Got it. So we need to go find their main base and take back the seal. All right, Warwick, what are you up to? Uh, sure. We don't really have much room left in the castle, but I'm sure I can squeeze it in. Of course. Well, I guess we could do that. I was thinking of turning this into a giant, like, potato patch, but... <laughs> I guess dungeon works too. <laughs> well, we are, uh, we're making a dungeon now. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, alright, fine. I guess the one thing that I should probably build myself is the actual dungeon. Alright, so what do we need here? We need, ca I have the castle walls already, right? Yep. Okay, so what do we need here? We need chains, two pots, some bra- Oh, do I have the braziers already? I might have the pots already, too. Could have sworn I had- Oh, I might have already used them. I have golden ones, but unfortunately we need normal ones. Yeah, I need to go make some more. Oh, wait, no, here they are. Never mind. I lied. Okay, so yeah, we need pots, chains, and cell- uh, A cell door and some cell walls. Just want to make sure I don't have any of those already. No? Alright. Let's go make them. While well, I'm up here, what do I actually need to make myself new armor? I would really like some new armor for myself. Full plate. Where is the magic? Oh, wait. Magic. Duh. Keep forgetting this is a thing. As in, this is where you need to do, go to get, make magic equipment. Uh, full plate armor and magic crystals. I need five of them. Alright. One moment. Let me go grab some magic crystals. Are there seriously no crystals left on the ground? Do I have to kill enemies for them? I think someone mentioned before that there is another location where they spawn, but I don't see any. Yeah, at this point, screw it. Let's just go kill some clowns and make them drop it for me. At least it's pretty reliable. Oh, these guys also drop potatoes. Okay, we might have to move away from, like, a farming society to more hunter-gatherer at this point. Unfortunately, our farming space just won't sustain our population. In fact, I'm pretty sure the second I leave, this entire society is going to collapse in on itself for what I did to it. Like, I did not give them adequate farmland or living space. Half of them are sleeping outside in the snow. Yeah, this place is going to collapse the second I leave. In, in fact, I'm pretty sure that's what's happened to, like, all of the places I've left behind. Like, in a couple of years, all of the islands we visited are probably going to collapse just because of what I've done. Maybe I am the evil one. Well, not my problem. By that time, the game will be over and I won't have to think about it anymore. Yeah, all right, we're going to need to kill some enemies to get those magic crystals. Because I don't see any around in here anymore. 
So we're looking for clouds at this point, right? I should probably be looking down to see. Oh, wait, no, wait, here we go. There's some magic crystals here. Perfect, that's all I needed. Let's go home. Alright, so, oh, I also need armor, right. Uh, I know where I can get that. Oh, I don't have full plate armor, do I? Oh, no, I only have iron armor. For some reason, I thought I had full plate armor. Okay, let me make that real quick. Yeah, we really should get the more beds. There's like five beds for 20 people. Uh, full plate armor, perfect. Even the king doesn't get to sleep anywhere. You know what? I just realized, I don't think I've seen the king use his new throne at all. I don't know if it's even possible at this point for him to use that new throne. Oh, yeah, let me also make the things I need. So, one chain. Uh, I also need two stone pots. And I need one door. And where are the cell block or the cell walls? Alright, that should be everything. Oh, hey, Malroth. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just because that happens literally everywhere we go, doesn't mean it's going to happen here. Maybe for once things will turn out really well and we can go home immediately. Just ignore the fact that I'm currently building a dungeon for people. It's fine. Alright, I'm going to wait for my armor to finish and for my food to finish too. Also, I keep forgetting I have an armory. Because, honestly, I keep forgetting this is a room. Yeah, we have an armory that I could have just put all the swords in and they would have equipped themselves, but... Yeah, like I said before, I completely forgot this was even a room. Also, people aren't even sleeping inside the castle anymore. But yeah, I really hope they don't ask me to build anything else, because at this point... The only place really available would be if we, like... Maybe split this room into two rooms. Also, we could pro- Oh, wait, no, that's right. We still have, like, two empty rooms we haven't used yet. Man, we have so much empty space in this area. Like, if it weren't for the fact that the throne room needs to be enormous, we would have so much space to work with. Like, look at this. We have a whole nine squares no one's using. Man, this castle is so wasteful. Alright, let me grab my armor. Also, at some point, I should probably, like, get rid of this look. Just so that we can actually see what I'm supposed to look like. In fact, hold on, can I make myself a dressing table? I don't think I can. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we'll have to wait until we get back home in order to, like, change our look. So we're going to be wearing rags for a while longer. Alright, so let me grab what I need then. So what do we need? We need our pots and our walls at this point. Give me that. Give me that. Also, I should just hit Y to get them all out of one step. I haven't do it individually. Okay, so those are there. Uh, door goes there. Oh, nope. There we go. Alright, so we made a jail cell. Wait, are we missing something? Oh, we're missing the chains, right. You can't have a good dungeon without chains. There we go. Oh, hey, Malra. Alright, so we made a jail cell now. Let's go tell Warwick. Wow, everyone is weirdly happy about the fact that we made a dungeon. Ah, great. Are they putting me in jail? I mean, I know I've done some pretty awful... Th okay. 
Seriously? I mean, yes, but no. Well, crap. Alright, you know what? Before I was just trying to be, like, fun in terms of ruining your guys' castle, going forward, you got... Going forward, your castle is going to be an absolute hell to live in. Well, great. We just lost our best fighter, by the way. Because of a certain some- oh, of course we're under attack. Because of a certain someone here. Huh. Oh. Uh... Guys, we might want to let Warwick out so that we can beat this guy's shins up. Because I don't think my tra- Well, then again, my traps will probably be like stepping on a Lego, which is extremely painful. But, um, huh. That's quite a big monster. Okay, before we do this, one second, I want to see something. Did they make the jail cell indestructible? No. Alright, you know what? If you're going to play like that, I have another way in. One moment. Okay, I need to figure this out. How far in is this? This is about... Yeah, 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 yeah. Get away from the gates. Oh, God. Camera. So it would be somewhere like... Hold on. Entrance is... I got turned around. It entrance is over there. So the entrance, or the cell would be, like, around here-ish? Hold on a minute. Okay, I overshot a bit, so I need to go a bit further that way. Oh, is it under the wall? It's under the wall. Okay, that's fine. I can still deal with this. So it's, like, around this area? Hold on. Hold on, now Roth, I'm coming. They'll never suspect that I would be the one to break him out. I can't find the cell. Where is it? It's over here. Ow. Fine. Yeah, they're not going to let me into the cell. All right, fine. Like I said. They'll get what's coming to them. Alright, we might as well take care of them. We lost Malroth in terms of usability, but... Oh, we got some bombs. That's fine. Fortunately, he's not attacking directly, so we can just, like, take care of his little monster minions, and we should be fine. Oh, but yeah, without Malroth, we can't do, uh, co-op attacks either. Ooh, that sucks. Oh, I did... <laughs> Whoops! We're fine. Alright, well, anyways, they'll be fine. Okay, while well, they're distracted, one minute. While they're distracted... Uh, where's my hammer? Oh, seriously? Man, they somehow made my building's plot, uh, shielded. Fine. Wait, can I dig under? Wait, hold on. No, okay, fine. They're not going to let me in. Oh, well. Alright, how's the battle going? I haven't really been paying attention. Uh, looks like they're doing fine. Yeah, they're fine. Alright, so... Trying to figure out a way to smuggle myself into that prison. Unfortunately, oh, the king is hiding in the chapel, I just noticed. Hmm. 
Actually, wait one second. I'll worry about the battle later. Do I still have my... I do still have my poison water. I might try making use of that at some point. Oh yeah, how's the battle going? Uh, we still have like, what, 15 more enemies to kill? You guys doing okay over here? Eh, they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. That guy's a big guy, but since we have so many traps and ice traps, it's not really that big of an issue. Alright, this should be the last wave, right? We have, yeah, eight more enemies. This should be the last of them. Man, I wish we could put, like, uh, actual, like, bombs in these cannons, but no, they're only firework cannons. We can't do anything with those. Oh, where are all my... Where are all the townspeople? Oh, they're over there. I just can't see their health bars for some reason. They got this. Yeah, those frost traps are actually really good in terms of just stopping enemies. Alright, eight more enemies to go. This big guy should go down pretty quickly. He's so big that he kind of triggers every single trap. So he can't really do anything. Oh, I guess their logic is that, like, robots need, like oils and stuff and they just break down in cold weather or something still i i still think lightning would have made more sense for robots oh he broke stuff that's fine all right so we should be done now or we're almost done there's like a few more enemies left Too bad. In fact, I think that was actually easier than the last few battles we faced. Oh, no one's here to give me a high five now. Zara, don't get started. You know what? No, do get started. Let's lock up the king, too. Also, wait, if this is the Dragon Quest Builder's one timeline, maybe... Maybe don't brag about being descended from Erdrick. That didn't end so well in the first game for that descendant. Yeah, no... Listen, kings are only good for one thing in Dragon Quest 1 through 3, and that's saving your game. Because for some reason, only a king can save your game in those games. Alright, I have an idea. If you're the one with all the power in your body, and if we just need to launch that at the enemy somehow... Human Slingshot. We just launch the king at the enemy and we win. Or we could build, you know, a power tower. That works too, I guess. All right, fine. We'll build that. It's a blueprint, though, so we can't really build it. Y y yes, that that's what I meant. Totally wasn't going to be a giant can to launch the king at the enemy. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Well, just go with what they're saying. It's fine. Alright, so last part of the mission. We just need to kill Atlas.
Yeah, you kind of locked up my best friend for no reason. Okay, yeah, speaking of the mirror, where the hell did the mirror go? <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna be building some cannons for them. <laughs> also, where are we? I just realized, I don't know where we are in terms of the, uh, relation to the cast. Okay, we're in the back. Well, they're having fun at least. Well, I know. Okay, you know what? Does she have a? She doesn't have a room yet. But I do know where she spends most of her time. Zara, it's literally been two minutes. I just saw them walk around the corner. They're fine. Yeah, you're you guys are fine. All right, get get started on the uh, tower, shall we? The get started on the tower, will you? You know, maybe I should put the back door closer to this area. Oh my god! Where'd you all come from? Alright, uh, you guys gonna keep building that thing? Oh, an orb of power. Where can we f- Alright, where can we find an orb of power? North of the castle. I don't know, Warwick, I'm gonna be honest, Malroth is a way better fighter. Fine. Oh, right, I haven't eaten for a while, I should probably eat something. Alright, let's go get that overpower. Oh, before we go, though... Give me a moment. So Nessa likes to spend a lot of time in the war room, I've noticed. Oh, she also likes to spend a lot of time training, too. One moment. Don't mind me. Alright, anyways, next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2, we're gonna go get that aura power and uh, get ourselves a cannon built. So, till then.